Hello you guys and welcome back to another vlogmas day Today we're gonna be doing this beautiful holiday makeup look I knew that I wanted to do the classic holiday look with a bit of a twist So I knew I wanted to do a, a more intense, more vampy red And this is what I came up with so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. We talk about makeup, beauty, a bit of lifestyle. And for the Blogmas month, I'm going to be posting five videos per week instead of my two that I usually do. This might be the worst idea ever because I have, uh, we have people here at the house working in the kitchen so there's banging and a lot of loud noises and this room is specifically on top of the kitchen so it'll be loud I'll see if this actually sees the day of light after I am done filming and go back to edit but anyway Let's uh, get right into my makeup. I'm gonna be doing a second holiday look. I am wearing a black dress, you can't really tell. We're actually, tonight we're gonna go to a Broadway show, Michael and I. So I'm just gonna be doing this makeup as a very festive holiday look. I wanna go for the classic red lip, but we're gonna do a bit of a twist. It's gonna be a darker red, not like your typical bright Christmas red. So yeah, let's get right into it. So anyway, I'm gonna start with the first primer. That's gonna be the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. My skin does feel more on the drier side today. So I'm gonna go for a hydrating primer and of course a glowy one. So we're gonna end up with also three primers. So now I'm gonna be using the Essence Prime and Studio Hydrating Primer. I really like this one. It's actually very, very affordable. I bought it just randomly during a trip to Ulta. I've had it for a while and I really do like it. For my third and last primer, I'm gonna be using the Wonder Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. I haven't used this one in a while, so I thought it was a good chance to bring it out since for my last holiday makeup look, I did use the other Charlotte Tilbury, the Hollywood Flawless Filter. So to not be too repetitive, I today I am trying to mix up a bit my products. For foundation, I'm using the Beautiful Skin, also by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm trying to hurry it up and whenever they're like silent, I'm trying to like do the talking. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start blending. By the way, I'm using the Love is a Foundation Brush from It Cosmetics. And there they go. <laughs> Corrector, I'm gonna be using the one by Tarte. I've got mine in the shade light medium and I do use this to diminish the purple and blue tones that I have around my eyes since I don't have any pigment there. And with my finger, I just go ahead and blend. For concealer, I'm using the KBD in the shade medium 146 and this happens to be my favorite concealer because the shade is literally the exact same shade I, as my skin. So the way I use concealer, I use concealer to cover the whiteness on my skin, specifically of, of course on my face. So this is just the closest that I've ever found to my skin tone. Now that a few minutes have passed, let's move on with blending using my usual Rare Beauty brush. Before we move on with any powders, to ensure that all of the base is well blended, Let's go ahead and move on with the Flawless Airbrush Flawless Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. For powder, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury one in the shade uh, number 2 medium. And I'm just going to concentrate the powder in the areas where I did use the concealer. So mostly around my eyes and then whatever is left, I just kind of like bring it down on my nose and mouth area because I did apply concealer also there. You know I can't skip my finishing powder, so I'm gonna be going into the Elephant Palette from Hourglass, and I'm just gonna use the middle shade right here, and I'm just going to dab it on the under eyes and around the eyes, just where I put the other powder. Although my eyes are gonna be very subtle because we wanna do that very beautiful red statement lip, I am definitely going to add tons of glow to my cheeks. That's something I can never skip. But before we move on with highlights, we have to do a little bit of contour. I'm gonna be using the Milk Makeup uh, Bronzer in the shade Baked. 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw this in the areas that I usually like to contour. Today I do want to add a bit more of a shimmering bronzer, so I'm going to go for the one here on the Elephant palette. It's going to be right here, and with a stipple, large stipple brush from e.l.f. that unfortunately they don't make this anymore, which is very saddening because it's an awesome brush. I'm just going to blend this in the same areas that I just contoured. Let's move on with highlighter. I'm gonna be using this one from Rare Beauty in the shade Flaunt. I wanted to bring this out because it has more of that very light bronzy look. Not that this is really bronzy whenever you put it on your skin, but you know what I mean. So this is what it looks like. Very pretty. And with my usual highlighter br brush, this one is from Real Techniques. I just like to add it on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to go ahead and start blending. I'm going to set my brows with the ABH uh, Brow Freeze and this spoolie from an old NYX product that I basically now just use for the spoolie. And before we finish the cheeks, because I do still have to add some bra uh, blush, I want to move on to the eyes and probably add the lipstick and then leave the cheeks to the very end. So this is just the only thing that I do so that the brows are set before we actually go on with uh, filling them in. Let's move on to eyes and it is going to be a very soft, very lightweight eye look because the lips are going to be very punchy, very red, dark red. So I'm going to be using the Soft Glam by Anastasia. I haven't used this in a while but I want to do browns matte browns so i feel like this one has a good variety of those if you don't have this palette you don't need to get the same one as long as you kind of like stick to the same color palette you should be good now let's move on to dusty rose which is the only pinkish matte in the palette and with a fluffy blending brush i'm going to blend this very softly into the crease just to define a little bit that area now I'm gonna move on with an eyeliner. We'll go back to the actual eyeshadows in a minute, but I want to line my eyes and I'm going to be doing like a blowout line and then we're gonna add some, some uh, shadow on that line to just make it a little bit more subtle and more, I guess, blended if that makes any sense. For this, I'm gonna be using the Pillow Talk eyeliner. You can use any brown eyeliner you wish, but I wanted to use this one because it has a bit of a reddish undertone. I brought you in a little bit closer, so on half of the eye, kind of like towards the end, I am making the line a bit thicker. And you want to use an eyeliner that's very soft, so you have a lot of time to work with it and blend without any issue. So I'm just grabbing a smaller one and I'm going to start blending this, just making the liner a bit more like blown out. The idea is the eyeliner looks like just very subtle and blended into the eye instead of like an actual eyeliner. Now that the eyeliner is done, I'm going to move on to the same tiny brush that I was using and I'm gonna go into the shade Rustic in the palette. So this is going to be like second darker brown and with the same brush, I'm just going to kind of like do the same thing going back into that eyeliner and just starting to blend a little at a time to blow out this uh, this line a bit more. I'm gonna switch to a more precise brush into the same rustic shade and you do have to be careful with these eyeshadows because they are very uh, very powdery. And I'm just going to not really do a wing per se but I'm just going to start pulling the shadow in a little bit of a wing-like manner. I like to use my finger to diffuse or kind of like make that bit of a wing a bit more precise without really being a wing line. So it's just the easiest way of creating the illusion of a wing without having to be precise or struggling, like, you know, your wings don't look the same. So it's just an easy trick. I'm gonna go back to the dusty, dusty rose shadow with the first blending brush and I'm just going to blend the crease just a tiny bit more. 
Going back to the smaller brush, I'm going to go to Dusty Rose and I'm just going to add this to my lower lashes just ever so slightly, just so they're not like fully empty. With my finger, I'm going to go back into Tempera and I'm just going to add this to my lid very, very lightly so I don't mess up the liner or fall line. And then going back to the blending brush with no additional color, I'm just going to blend out the crease. For my inner corner highlight, I'm going to be using Glistening next to Tempera. And just with my pinky finger, I'm going to add this and bringing it closer to my uh, bridge, to the bridge of my nose to make the eyes pop even a little bit more. Actually, that color was a little too gold for me. So I'm going to go into Natasha Denona's The Mini Nude Palette and onto my very favorite inner corner highlight which is going to be this middle one and just going back same spot but just adding this shade instead much much better i'm gonna do mascara and my brows off camera and then i'll be back for the lipstick and then to add a little something to the cheeks you cannot be doing a holiday makeup look speaking of red lipsticks and not include lisa eldridge they are my favorite reds, you already know this. So I wanted to go for the darker one in the line and this is Velvet Jazz. I wanted a very intense, very in your face red lip and this is going to be the perfect one. So I'm gonna go ahead and I don't have any more Burt's Bees left. So let's go ahead and apply it on the lips. To make sure the lipstick and the lines are very perfect, I'm going to use a bit of the concealer that I was using earlier and a smaller, uh, more precise brush. And I'm just going to grab a bit of concealer and then in the back of my hand, I'm going to make sure that I don't have too much. So kind of like just cleaning it up. And now I'm going to start cleaning out the lines. No red lipstick is going to be perfect, especially this intense by just applying it. I feel like you always have to go back and make sure that the lines are perfect. Lipstick is all done, so now let's move on with a bit of a blush. I'm gonna go for something very nude, very natural. So Patrick Tom in the shade She's So LA. It comes with two beautiful shades, both like very brownish. So first you go in with the cream, and I'm gonna be using my cream brush that I usually use. And I'm just gonna smile and add this to the apple on my cheeks. Looking so much more alive. And now let's add the powder on top of that cream. I do like to add blush on the bridge of my nose, but I think today I went a little overboard. So I'm just gonna go back with my same uh, powder brush and just blend whatever was a little bit excessive. To finish up the look and to set all of the powders in place, we're gonna be doing another spritz of the Airbrush Flawless by Charlotte Tilbury. Just like I did on my previous holiday look, I'm going to be leaving uh, in the description box down below the two makeup looks that I did for the holidays for last year. So in the description, you'll have three holiday looks. So you can go and watch after this one, get some inspiration, some ideas in what you want to do for your holiday parties. Let me know in the comments down below if you would wear this makeup look to your upcoming holiday parties. If you liked it, like always, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.